Okay guys, welcome to another episode of my quick tips and tricks for Unreal Engine 4. Let's get started. Number 7. Layers. I know, I know, everyone loves content management in their projects, so that's why I have another quick tip for you. The layers. No, actually, layers can be very helpful for you. Let me show you. Okay, first you need to open up the layers window. It's under Window Layers. It should open up next to your World Outliner. This basically works similar to grouping your assets, but it gives you a little bit more info. Let me show you. Okay, let's select all of my cubes here and right-click somewhere on the blank space and add selected actors to new layers. Let's call it Cube. Now we can easily select all contents by double-clicking on the layer's name. That's very useful for saving your selection. But looking at the bottom right corner, we can see a little house icon and a number. This indicates the number of all static meshes we have put in this layer. Alright, let's add a point light, for example, and also add this to our layer and see what happens. So, as you can see, we have now two icons. Let's maybe add more objects like Sphere Reflection Capture Actor, a Atmospheric Fog, these static meshes as well, and right-click and add selected actors to selected layers. So, we have now more icons, so it gives you an idea of, uh, or like a sort of overview of layer contents. We can click on each icon and select particular objects right now. To see the contents, simply click on the bottom left icon. It looks like a world outliner. However, there's almost nothing we can do here. We can just remove the objects from the layer. Just click on the X icon. To go back to the layer list, simply click on the small arrow icon here. Number 8 material chaining. Okay, this one is not going to be that quick, but it's good to know about this anyway. So, first of all, let me just tell you what is the material chaining and how to make it. So, basically, material chaining happens when you have at least two levels of material instancing. It means you have a master material, an instance of that material, and instance of an instance. In Unreal Engine 4, instancing is used to change the appearance of a material without recompilation. You have a quick access to your material's parameters. If you are not familiar with instances, I recommend checking them out. Ok, let's take a look at this example. I have a glass material, which will be our master material. I've got couple parameters in here. Like color 1, color 2, roughness, a dirt intensity and so on. So these parameters can be changed in instances. Let me show you. Let's create a new instance. Right click on the material and choose create material instance. Let's call it m underscore glass underscore dirty. Let's assume that we have a three different windows, three different glass corals let's say, and we want to control a dirt level. Since our master material has such parameter, we can do that. Let's apply that instance to one of static meshes I have here, so we can see better what's going on. And by the way, this is an advanced class material package I'm currently working on. Ok, let's open up the material instance and change the dirt level intensity. Ok, as you can see, shader is not recompiling, and it works in real time. Now, if I want to have a three different glass colors, I would need to create another two instances and change the color there. But the problem with that is they wouldn't share the same dirt intensity parameter. So every time you change that value in one instance, you would need to do it in others as well. Of course, if that is your intention and you want to maintain the same dirt intensity on every window. So, what is the solution? How do we connect them? The answer is the material chaining. Let's create a new material instance of our previous instance. Let's give it a name. Dirty underscore red. Now copy this one and also give it a name. D 
dirty underscore blue. I'll just put them all into a folder. Okay, let's apply those two new instances to static meshes and let's change the color. Let's find the color parameter and set it to some sort of light blue and color too like a darker blue. All right, that's perfect. Let's do the same for the red version. Okay. All right, before moving on, let's check what do we have here. So, we have the master glass material and we created the instance of it. Let's say the dirt version. Then we went deeper and created two instances of it. So now if I change the dirt intensity here, all three materials will update because they share the same value. So that's the material chaining. Okay guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you will find this useful and see you next time.